<laughs> Hi everybody, do you want the same parts on your car that I used on Cruise Missile? Don't forget to check out davescustomparts.com. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm just going to jump into this video today. I know you're patiently waiting for me to get this turbo into the cruise and then get the car back to the dyno. I prefer to just take my time and just do things slowly and make sure I don't miss any steps because I know you guys are watching these videos and I don't want to leave things out that I think might be important. What I did was I was in the middle of filming the last video and I realized that it was probably better for me to put the footage into this video where I'm prepping the turbo and getting it ready to go back in the car. So what you're going to see is I'm going to show you how to set up the wastegate. I'm going to show you how to test the wastegate. I'm going to show you how to get the turbo in the car, prime the turbo. It's very important that you prime a turbo before you're using it. And then uh, we'll get the car on the road today and then we'll test drive it and get the tune into it as well. I just also wanted to say thank you to my members. You guys are amazing. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who comments. You guys are also amazing. Anybody who supports the channel, you guys are pretty much my friends. Uh, you know, everything I do, I do for you. And the best thank you I can give is to keep pumping out really good content for you. Uh, those of you that I met in person or talked to over the phone or, uh, you know, talked to through social media, email. I mean, I, I try and keep in touch with everyone. And every conversation I have is a conversation that I truly enjoy. So thank you very much. I appreciate everything everyone is doing. So I just wanted to say thank you. And then what we're going to do is let me uh, get you over by the bench so you can see what we're doing to install the turbo into the car. Okay, I went out and got this pressure kit. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to get something like this for your... Uh, for yourself as well. It does pressure and vacuum. Okay. All right, now what I wanna do is I wanna pay attention to how much pressure it takes. What I'm gonna do is, is basically focus on this. I wanna see this start to move. Once that starts to move, I'll see how much pressure we're at. All right, it just started moving. So it looks like we're at around 15 pounds of pressure. And then I, I guess, let's just see how much pressure it takes to be fully open. Let's see. I don't think it goes that far, but I mean, the sky's the limit on it. All right, well anyway, we're focusing more on the pressure it takes to open it. So I know when this thing starts to move, we're at 15 PSI. So when I swap over arms and put it onto that turbo, I'm gonna set it to the same. Everyone pretty much does preload based on how far you pull the rod over. I do preload a little bit differently, uh, but for right now, swapping over to this turbo, I wanna make sure it's the same. And when I put this in the car and start driving, I wanna look for either overboost or underboost codes. I mean, there's a chance I might need more preload for this turbo just because of how much boost it produces. Uh, so I don't know, but I at least want to match it now. All right, same deal. I want to see now. I want to watch to see when this starts to move and see if we're at 15 PSI. Okay, just started to move. Okay, good. 15 PSI. Now, basically, if I were to do a tighter preload, what would I see? I would imagine if I had a tighter preload, it would cause more pressure. And if I had a weaker preload, it would be less pressure. But at least I know I'm at the same 15 PSI. Okay, what I wanna do is prime the turbo. I just tried running the car or, or cranking the car by removing the uh, fuses for the injectors and the car would not crank. Uh, so once I put the fuses back in, it did crank. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna disconnect the harness to the injectors. And what I wanna do is I wanna crank the engine without letting it start. 
and I want to get oil pressure from the engine to actually prime the turbo. You never want to start a brand new turbo dry. Uh, I did pour some oil in there previously, but just in case, I would like to get some oil pressure primed through this turbo. So I'm going to disconnect this harness and then we'll crank. Uh, what I want to do is crank for about 15 seconds, pause for 30 seconds, and then crank for another 15 seconds. In the video, it might not look like it's that long, but that's what you should at least do at a minimum. Okay, good. I don't see any leaks. I mean, the engine's not running yet, but I, at least I don't see anything right now. Uh, we're obviously gonna check for leaks after we get the engine running. So what I wanna do now is let's finish the tune-up and then finish getting the engine back together. Okay, so one thing you want to do when you're putting new spark plugs in is you want to get a feeler gauge. And what you want to do is you want to actually check your gap from the tip of the diode. But you want to just check to see if the feeler gauge has any drag through there. If it does, that means your plugs are gapped to the correct distance. Okay, so I'm sitting here editing this video today with my son Ryder. He can say hi. hi. <laughs> and uh, we both decided that this part of the video we didn't like very much. It was, I was talking about going to the doctor and I didn't enjoy it. It was sort of ruining the flow. And uh, so we decided to throw in a member shout out. So uh, hopefully you enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> turbo on the cruise? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you guys just saw in the video that I installed a new version of my catch can. So the catch can's pretty cool. Uh, you can pretty much just pull it right out of this cup and then uh, take the catch basin off and then pop it right back in. That way you don't have to deal with this being solidly mounted to the car. I have a new uh, ventilation system. So basically you have your two PVC valves and then you have a third breather system that goes right to the turbo. So I capped off the turbo and I put a T in and I use a different size line now and now we're ventilating all three points. I'm gonna test it in this video, hopefully I don't have any problems. If the test goes well in the next week, uh, I'll, you'll be able to get this from me, it'll be on my website. 
All right, so now I want to do the first startup on this thing. Pretty much everything's together at this point. So what I want to do is I'm going to data log and uh, make sure while I'm driving the car right now that everything runs fine. I want to get the data log over to Bad News Racing. Wow. I know I don't show emotion well, but this thing is very exciting to drive now. I mean, before full throttle, it was very hard to hear the turbo. You would really just hear engine. When you were part throttle, that's when you would hear the turbo working. Now this thing actually feels like a turbocharged car. I love listening to that turbo spool. There's a little bit of a, of a mid-range hesitation. So what I'm going to do is, is basically part throttle halfway through the power band. There's a little bit of a misfire. So what I want to do is let me get the data logs over to Bad News Racing, see what they say so they can clean it up and then uh, hopefully have that file in the car before I go for my, uh, my dyno run. Okay, so what I'm probably going to do is finish this video off here. Uh, my data log was sent out to Bad News Racing. They're going to look it over. Hopefully they'll get me something new that I can put in the car and clear up that mid-range hesitation. Instead of doing some really long like 45 minute video, I'm just going to stop it here and document each little step along the way. Any kind of changes I make, I will make a video on what I do up to uh, the, the dyno run, during the dyno run, and then after the dyno run. Basically letting you guys know what's going on with the car. Uh, as it sits right now, it's it's a running, driving cruise. I'm happy. The turbo sounds awesome. It does have a little bit of a whistle, which is normal with larger turbos on cruises. I'll figure out a way to cut down on that. Uh, maybe I have to put an insert into the intake or uh, possibly um, redirect the air filter. But I think an insert in the intake will be, be the best move. And then uh, anything I come up with, I'll definitely, you know, you'll have updates on the website. You'll have updates in the videos. Members hear about things ahead of time. So if you're a member of the channel, uh, you pretty much kind of always know what's going on. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Sorry that I was a little cranky uh, during this video. It stretched across about a week and a half time frame, and I was just dealing with a lot of stuff this week, and uh, I just wasn't my usual self. But today, well, at least today, I'm back to normal. I mean, whatever normal is for me but uh thanks again everybody i appreciate you checking the video out uh, i appreciate the members who are part of the channel i appreciate my subscribers who comment i try to get back to you guys right away and then uh if you need anything just ask have a nice day